In this video, I'm going to be talking about milk and how to find the best milk when you have chronic kidney disease. I'm going to walk you through all the different types of milk like cow's milk, almond milk, oat milk, rice milk, soy milk, all of them. I'm going to tell you what to be on the lookout for that could be bad for your kidneys and your overall health if you have kidney disease, and I'll even tell you specific brands that meet all of my guidelines for a kidney-friendly milk. So let's dive right in. What makes a milk kidney-friendly? For people living with chronic kidney disease who are not on dialysis, we're going to be very interested in the protein content of milk. One cup of regular cow's milk can contain 8 grams of protein in it. That could be 20% of your recommended protein intake for the day, depending on what your needs are. And I think that most people would probably prefer to get their protein from other sources. For this reason, plant-based milks are going to be the best bet for low-protein milk options on the market. Now, there are other things to keep in mind when picking a milk besides protein. One of those things being phosphorus. In addition to being high in protein, regular cow's milk is also relatively high in phosphorus. However, many plant-based milks and milk alternatives contain phosphorus additives, which are not good for people with kidney disease. Too much phosphorus can do a lot of damage to your cardiovascular system, and it is really, really important to avoid phosphorus additives. And if you want to learn more about phosphorus, at the time of this video, we're actually offering a free trial version of our CKD course, which gives you free access to our phosphorus module. I'll include a link in the description of this video if you want to learn more about phosphorus. But back to milk. When looking at plant-based milks, we want to be sure to look at the ingredient lists and ensure that they don't contain any phosphorus additives. Another thing to keep in mind is sodium. For most foods, we recommend looking at the Nutrition Facts label to find foods that contain less sodium than calories. With plant-based milks and milk alternatives, this can get a bit tricky because many of these milks contain more sodium than calories. However, the overall amount of sodium is not that high, and if you've taken our course on the CKD diet, you know how to create meals and meal plans that end up very low in sodium, so you usually have a bit of discretionary salt available to use on other foods in your day. And a plant-based milk may be where you want to spend some of that extra salt. Lastly, you may need to keep an eye on potassium in milk. Depending on your stage of kidney disease and many other factors, you may or may not need to worry about the potassium content of your milk. However, if your dietitian has told you to be mindful of your potassium intake, you will want to check the labels and find a milk that's lower in potassium, preferably less than 200 milligrams per serving. For many people with kidney disease, you do not need to limit your potassium intake, though. So let's talk about different types of milk. I'm going to start alphabetically with almond milk. Almond milk can be a really good option for CKD. Almond milk is low in protein, although it does tend to be higher in sodium, um, which you might still be able to fit into your day. There's several options that don't contain any phosphorus additives. It's typically lower in potassium and high in calcium. Um, and you might want to talk to your dietitian to know if either of those things, the calcium and potassium, should be a concern to you. If you go to our webpage on Kidney Friendly Milk, I've listed out the specific brands that we have found that are low in protein and contain no phosphorus additives. I give a little more info on the milk, like the nutrition information, and I include a link to check prices and reviews about the milk on Amazon. And if you choose to buy any of these milks through Amazon, I will get a few pennies, literally, um, at no extra cost to you, but the pennies do add up and they help me keep making these types of food guides for free, so I do appreciate it. Um, so go check out the website to see what these kidney-friendly almond milks are. Next up, coconut milk. Coconut milks can be a good option for people with kidney disease. Coconut milk is low in protein, making it a great choice for people on a low protein diet. However, many coconut milks do contain phosphorus additives, so you will need to read the ingredient labels carefully to find one that may be appropriate, or go just go to our website um, and see the ones that we've already found that did not contain additives. Coconut milks also contain a lot of calcium, which may be fine, but talk to your dietitian about whether or not you need more or less calcium. Next, we've got cow's milk, which I've already mentioned is not really recommended for people with CKD because of its high protein content. Then we have oat milk, and I do not recommend oat milk. I have sifted through all of the oat milks in the USDA database, and they all contain phosphorus additives, so I would just avoid oat-based milks altogether. Next up, we've got pea milk. I also don't recommend pea-based milks. Pea-based milk substitutes contain similar amounts of protein to animal milks, which means that they're all going to be too high in protein. Next, we've got rice milk, which is also sometimes called a rice drink. These are typically low in protein and sodium and very low in potassium. The calcium and phosphorus content can vary widely, though. So, for example, Rice Dream makes a classic rice drink and an enriched rice drink. 
The classic contains no phosphorus additives and it's low in calcium, while the enriched contains added phosphorus and it's high in calcium. For people with kidney disease, we would definitely recommend the classic version. Last on our list is soy milk. Of all the plant-based milks on the market, soy milk tends to be the highest in protein, so I do recommend choosing something other than soy milk. So to summarize, almond milk, coconut milk, and rice milk are gonna be the best options for people living with chronic kidney disease. These come in numerous different types that are low in protein and contain no phosphorus additives. Check out our website to see specifically which ones you can buy right now. And if you like videos like this and you want me to make more, please, please, please let me know by liking this video and subscribing to our channel.